Um, I find that it's a great substitution as well for a swivel. Uh, it has the ergonomics of the outside pocket handle. Um, you almost stabbed me. Whoa. The next chair that we're gonna talk about is the HH22. What's so special about the HH22? Let's first start with the fact that this is a blend of the 440C and the VG10. So it is kind of a hybrid shear in that sense that it's a wet cutting shear that has dry cutting properties behind it, which makes it a super versatile shear. It's also the newest shear that we've created as a company, which is really awesome. Now, a couple of cool design features about this. Let's start with the handle. You notice that it does have those Sassoon style necks, but it still has an offset. This actually has a very deep thumb cradle that's cut out. I like to call this the first traditional Japanese handle that we've ever made because instead of having rounded edges, it actually has harder edges that cup the fingers a little bit nicer and have a much smoother feel to it. Right here, I call this a camel tang. It actually pockets the pinky inside of the tang to give you really, really great control throughout the shear. The other nice thing about it though is is that even though the shear is a little thinner this way it's a little wider this way so it's really a great all-around cutting shear for pushing through thick coarse hair but still a giving you the ability to do those nice soft cuts and straight lines that you're looking for in a shear because it has a straighter blade than a normal dry cutting shear would with this shear it does come in three different sizes a five and a half a six and a six and a half five and a half for your precision cutters six inch for your stylist that's looking for a well-rounded size shear and then also a six and a half for your barbers or stylists that just like a longer shear which they are out there it's a great shear it is a staple in a lot of kits that i sell just because of the versatility of the shear and the comfort in the handle